In the aftermath of the floods in far north Queensland, with me for reaction is the Deputy Nationals Leader, Perrin Davey. Thanks for your time. Have you uh, welcomed what you've seen in terms of the government response, both state and federal, in support of far north Queensland? Uh, well, look, I mean, what I what I can say, and I have been in constant contact in my role as Shadow uh, Emergency Management Minister with the Federal Minister's Office, and I, I must say thank you to them. Uh, they've been keeping me very up to date. We know this has been uh, absolutely devastating up in far north Queensland. The Queensland SES has been... Um, out in force and I want to thank all the volunteers who've gone up there to give assistance. Uh, the Defence Force were on standby for Cyclone Jasper. Uh, they've been rolled out now um, and are working to help in the evacuation process. We've got evacuation centres open and operational up there. They will be looking now to transition to recovery centres and getting as much support on the ground as we can for um, people to start the, the recovery process, which is often a long-winded process and requires ongoing support. Uh, I've just had a briefing from Services Australia today. Uh, they're open right now as we speak. They've just opened for applications for Australian Government disaster recovery payments and um, disaster recovery allowance for those people who, whose work is impacted by this disaster. But now we need to turn to questions. Um, why was this not forecast? We know through experience, through what we've seen in Western Australia with Fitzroy crossing floods that came again on the back of a projected cyclone that didn't eventuate, but the tropical low that followed the cyclone was absolutely devastating. So we've heard it before. Uh, this time around, tro tropical cyclone, or cyclone Jasper, um, we got to the end of that, following it sort of increasing and decreasing in intensity. And then when the cyclone was petering out, um, where was the bomb? Why didn't the bomb come in and say, be prepared? We don't know what this tale will, will have following it. At the isn't very it, least, be prepared in, in rather the, than the cyclone. Yeah, moved. sure. But is it, isn't it inherent in, in a, a storm system of this nature that it is unpredictable as well? Well, it is unpredictable, but when the focus has been on the cyclone and then people are saying, well, the cyclone is petering out, it's passing, it gives a sense of uh, we can all relax now, whereas the reality is the cyclone may be petering out, but the tail is often what really whips communities. And um, we know, I mean, we pay millions, if not billions of dollars to the Bureau of Meteorology. They keep coming out with declarations of how good their forecasting is. You know, they've got seven year modelling predictions, but seven years means nothing if you can't predict what's happening in 24, 48 hours. Yep. Well, it's, uh, I think there's going to be a fair bit more scrutiny on that front. And, and just finally, before you go, we're coming into Christmas. Uh, I know that this has been an issue that you've spoken to me about the in recent months, the cost of living pressures. Uh, your constituents, have you noticed that people have really reined it in this Christmas, given how tough things are for many? Well, my main street here in Daniloquin is dreadfully quiet at the moment. And I went talking to some of the shopkeepers yesterday as I'm doing my last minute Christmas shopping because it's been quite busy and I, I am known for leaving it to the last minute. Um, and some of the shopkeepers are saying that he's been quite depressed this year compared to other years, and they would have thought there'd be more people like me ducking in to do a last minute, pick up the last few bits and pieces, but that doesn't seem to have happened. And, um, you know, the concern is that people are looking for to save money, conserve money, or they're, they're buying online, um, yeah. which doesn't always help if you're buying from offshore. It might be cheaper, but it doesn't help our Australian businesses. So wherever no, possible, please run down the street and pick up your last minute gifts from, from even the post office is great, but keep it local. Deputy Nationals Leader and Shadow Emergency Management Minister Perrin Davey, thanks. Speak to you soon. Thank you.